And now we have a difference of cubes. So for the difference of cubes, we have the following example, 125 x cubed minus 27. Remember that difference of, both difference and sum of cubes will still be two groups, the second being larger than the first. The first group has two placeholders, and the second group has three placeholders. So I'm going to go ahead and label our original problem. This first term is actually a cubed, and the second term is b cubed. So if I were to fill out this group, my first group is going to come from the original problem. This will be A, and this will be B. So I have to take the cube root of 125x cubed to get this first term here. So if I take the cube root of 125, that's 5. But don't stop there, because this has an, a variable that I also need to take the cube root of. The cube root of x cubed is just x. And now if I move on, here's a 27, the cube root of 27 is 3. Now that I have the first group filled out, I can fill out the second group. And then we'll go back and do the signs. So the second group, first placeholder will be a, a squared, the last one will be b squared, and this middle will be a times b. So if I look back again at my first group, I have 5x for a. If I'm doing a squared, I need a square 5x. So 5 times 5 is 25. x times x is x squared. So 5x times 5x, 25x squared. And if I do my last term, that's also squared, so that's 3 squared, which is 9. And then my middle term will simply be a times b multiplied, to get, multiplied together, excuse me, 5x times 3. 15x. And now I'm filling out the signs. I'm going to use SOAP. S-O-A-P. So the S stands for same sign as my original problem. I started writing a positive, but it's actually a negative. So the subtraction here will be the same sign here on my first group. The O stands for opposite, opposite sign. So if I have a subtraction, and this is opposite sign from the original problem or the first group. So if I have a subtraction, that means I'm going to use the opposite sign, which will be a positive. And then AP stands for always positive. So this last sign will always be positive. And then if you know the formula for a, a difference of cubes, if I have the original problem be a cubed minus b cubed, which is how we labeled it, then it will factor out to be a minus b as my first group. And my last group, my second group, will be a squared plus ab plus b squared. So it's up to you if you want to use this formula or if you're able to remember how we got the first group, the second group, and use SOAP to fill in the signs.